and welcome to the Pig and Whistle Tales from Azeroth. As always here at the Pig and Whistle Inn in Stormwind, I go for a variety of subjects with regards to World of Warcraft. So grab a bottle or a pint, sit back and enjoy. This midweek episode we'll be going over the What Are series and we're going to be looking at uh, the staple point of pretty much every role playing game, RPG, anything like that. And that is a priest or cleric, you know, that sort of class. Um, we're going to be looking at the specs, we're going to be looking at what uses they have in PvP and raids, um, we won't be looking at pets, <laughs> the roleplay element, pros and cons, etc. So if you're looking to get into WoW or are a veteran, stick around, you might figure out something as to how they fit into the sort of machine that is World of Warcraft. So the specializations for priests, you have three. You have two healing, which is holy and discipline. And you have one DPS spec that is uh, shadow. Shadow being your typical, you use a lot of damage over time effects, as well as harnessing, obviously, shadow spells such as Devouring Plague, Vampiric Touch, uh, Shadow of Pain, Mind Spike, Mind Blast, that kind of deal. Uh, holy as you would imagine it's the complete opposite you're using holy word spells a lot of the time power word shield stuff like that as well as renew you know the basic sort of healing for shadow you're looking at a very versatile or a very good dps that has a lot of defensive utilities through uh, fade through dispersion void shift uh, instant procs for like shields, so instant shield procs when you get to a certain percent. Um, all of this, as well as desperate prayer, all of this is very interchangeable, very strong defensive toolkit, as well as a very strong offensive toolkit with the likes of uh, your damage over time effects into a big void torrent, a big hit of damage. In PvP, they are generally utilized in a more setup based comp. So you're kind of looking at um, or a either a setup based or a more long winded game comp. Um, either of these, such as R uh, RPS, which is Rogue Pre Shaman. You're looking at uh, oh my god, what is it? Shadow Shadow Play, which is Warlock Shadow Priest. Anything like that. These comps uh, are probably the bread and butter of Priest at the moment. You can obviously do stuff like Priest Warrior. I don't know if there's a name for it. But, you know, anything can go well with a Priest, essentially. It's one of the classes that can synergize quite well with pretty much most things in the game, specialization-wise, anyway. In Raids, it is actually very decent. Um, I'm not going to comment a lot about it, but I would imagine that AoE is somewhat decent through Mind Seer. Um, and spreading dots and stuff like that. But again, I can't really comment a lot on it as PvE-wise. I am very much not the person you want to be talking to about that. But I would like to understand that I have some idea of how good a priest is, essentially. In terms of role-playing for Shadow Priest, uh, in Priest in general, actually, you obviously have uh, the whole sort of, you're wearing cloth armour, you know, the, like... If you come to the chapel, I will heal you, my good sir. That kind of deal. Like, you know, you're 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 the bread and butter healer class, as it were. Um, everyone sort of turns to you, and everyone sort of has that in their game. The bread and button, the bread and button, <laughs> the bread and butter healing class. Um, it it's RP wise, it's very much. Oh, do you need to see a doctor? I'm the doctor, kind of deal. So there's a lot of things that you can do with it, but. Again, RP, not my sort of genre. It, it's still, for an RP element, it's nice to run around and utilise, you know, stuff like Smite or Shadow Word Pain, Shadow Word Kill or Shadow Word Death, sorry. You know, all of these, like, very priesty spells that you can find in pretty much any game. They're always good fun. Uh, as for Holy and Discipline, you have two completely different types of healing. Um, discipline uses uh, a mechanic called atonement or i say it does it's kind of the worst at the moment um in terms of healer wise Fr from a pvp perspective anyway it's very low on the list in terms of how it's performing right now but atonement is what is the main mechanic for a discipline priest so you get atonement up on your targets your two dps and essentially you deal damage to heal 
So if they have atonement on them, a percentage of your damage dealt will heal the targets that have atonement on them, which is really good, really fun, and a really good way or concept of um, PvP at the moment, which is really cool. Uh, Holy, on the other hand, is very um, tough at, if there's a very single target heavy composition. You're looking at a healer that thrives off of um, Prayer of Mending, you know, renews a lot of big bursty heals that you have to reset constantly through Flash of Lighting and stuff. And if you don't have them heals, you'll eventually run out of things. But it's more focused on the actual healing side rather than do damage to heal, um, if you'd prefer that. The pros and cons to priest in any sort of thing are you are a clothy, you are a clothy wearer, so you obviously will be taking more damage from physical attacks, as usual. Uh, you're very immobile compared to a lot of things in the game. A lot of things have something that can get them to places very quickly, but you don't have that. You have a speed increase, but you don't have anything that is like a blink or a leap or a charge, anything along that line. Uh, you simply can just run faster. That That's about it. You can get people to you very quickly with Leap of Faith, but it's not really for you, <laughs> to, so to speak. So you're very immobile is probably one of the cons of the class. But the pros are you actually are quite tanky for a priest. You might take a bit more damage from physical attacks, but if you rotate your defensive cooldowns, such as dispersion, desperate prayer, your healing, your void shift, you know, your if you're holy, you can use a spirit of redemption. If you're disciplined, you have pain suppressions, etc. If you utilize these and use these effectively, you are actually a very tough target to lock down and kill because Fade also gets you out of slows such as Hamstring or Roots. Actually, it doesn't get you out of Roots. It gets you out of Snares, sorry. Uh, so like Hamstring, anything that slows you essentially. Um, priests are just really good in general. They go along with a lot of good things. They're very much a utility class through their Leap of Faith, their uh, Power Infusion. I forgot about that. They're off-healing. They're just like... Constant off healing, actually. If you're a shadow priest, you have a vampiric embrace, you have flash heals, you have multiple ways to heal. Um, so there is a lot of pros to it. And the cons are the biggest con is definitely that you're probably the most immobile class in the game. Um, so if you're more standing there, kind of, you know, dishing out a lot of damage while standing still, kind of deal, then this is probably the class for you. But Ultimately, if you want to be something that is more mobile, you will be looking at more like a druid or maybe like a warlock even. You know, they've got some decent kiting uh, utilities, stuff like that. But that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for listening, as always. Do check out all of the social medias down below. TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, constant stuff happening everywhere. So make sure to check it out. Thank you all very much once again. And go Valor, friend. Goodbye, all.